Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today I thought I would take you along as I review my meal plan that I did in September and see if I made all the things that I wrote down on my lists and I'm gonna share with you a few dinners that I was able to capture on camera for you. All right, friends, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to hear my intake vent. Our intake does all three levels of the home, and so it is loud, so I'm sorry. All right, how did dinner planning go for September? I can't believe September is over. I thought I would go back into my Shop Your Shelves and menu planning section of the She's in Her Apron Planner and see how I did. Now, for me, things can change on a dime because if I'm working on a video for freezer meals or for make-ahead meals, those are our dinners. And if I can batch film all those meals, like my last slow cooker video that, that you saw, we had the Italian chicken and the salsa mushroom chicken, um, the herb chicken and red potatoes, and there was a chicken chili, that one. We had those all week for dinner, which is fantastic. So I love when I batch film like that because they're in the fridge. We just heat them up again for each night and it's fantastic. So I didn't end up using the shrimp in my freezer inventory. Uh, I didn't get to that or my Brussels sprouts and I really need to use that. I did use the ham hock, but unfortunately I did not get that on camera. I, I'm trying to get in the habit of showing and filming the meals that we make so we could do these videos. So hopefully October, I'll have more for you. For the menu planning section, for breakfast, I had breakfast ca uh, casserole and fruit smoothie. We didn't have any of those, that didn't work out. Lunch, I had pizza kits, didn't make those. Layered salad, didn't have that. And burgers, we did have burgers. And of course, these were suggestions. This was what I had on hand that I, there were meals that I could make in that um, time frame that I, I made this for the month. Okay, so Sloppy Joe's we did have, and um, I do have that on video for you. Okay, tonight for dinner, we're having Pioneer Woman's Sloppy Joe's. This is one of my kids' favorite meals. I have a video, I think, for it down below, and I'll leave her link. It is the best Sloppy Joe recipe ever. So we have buns for that. We have a salad. I put a yummy salad topper that's um, gluten-free without any of um, like the croutons in it. It's like seeds and craisins on our salad. We have watermelon and chips, and that is our simple dinner tonight. Corn chowder, actually that's on the menu for this weekend. Um, teriyaki chicken with stir fry, we didn't have that. Shrimp tacos, we didn't have that. <laughs> what did you eat, Kimmy? Well, we did have Navajo tacos. Okay, we're making Navajo tacos for dinner tonight, and I have these scones. You could also make them into rolls. They're gonna thaw out. I'm gonna put some plastic over this. They're thawed out, and I just formed them into scones, dropped them in some hot oil, and we'll fry these up, and I have in here, black beans and pinto beans warming up. And then this is our taco meat. And then I gotta get the toppings, like the cheese, tomatoes, and lettuce ready. And this side is the dessert scones. I already have the sugar on them, yum. This one has American cheese in the middle. My, that's how my mom would make some of them. Oh, so good. And then these are the regular for the Navajo tacos. I put taco meat on mine. And then some black beans and pinto beans. Then I'm gonna add some Mexican style cheese down. And then onion, lettuce and tomato, a little tomato. This was a total put together what we have in our fridge dinner. Okay, and then I'm gonna put tomato on mine. I added some guac and sour cream and my ranch dressing smothered on top with tortilla chips. You can add a ton more to this meal, but it is very filling. I can only eat one of these. So Navajo tacos is what's for dinner tonight. Split pea soup we had, but I didn't film. Um, that was with the ham hock. Salsa mushroom chicken, shared that with you, we had that. The herb chicken, we had that. Chicken and 
red potato uh, with new potatoes and spinach that is coming up that we're having it this week and I'm filming it for a video for you guys five spice beef stew that was amazing and I filmed that for you it's coming on a dedicated video chicken broccoli shells that is going to be filmed in that same video so that is coming up and you'll see that in a future video okay side dishes applesauce apple crisp no no but I am making a fall bake with me video this weekend. I can't wait because I'm going to be freezing apple crisps and apple pie filling and all of that. So, and applesauce. And I'll be making that with you. So all that's coming up on a video. Okay, so for the refrigerator, I had salsa. We used up the salsa in the refrigerator in our salsa mushroom chicken. That was delicious. Uh, three jars of barbecue barbecue sauce we actually ended up using one of those so fantastic uh, sour cream we did use the sour cream up and then chicken thighs I had two and we used both so I can mark that other one we used our green peppers I had those down on my list and we used those in the sloppy joes and ricotta cheese I still have two ricotta cheeses that are the date they're still doing great so um, I'll be making the lasagnas. I haven't had time to make that in asparagus. We used that up. For our freezer meals, I have chicken enchilada soup, Italian flake steak, and teriyaki chicken. I still have all those to use. So those do need to be used up, so I'm definitely going to transfer those over to my October Shop Your Shelves menu plan because I do need to use those up before um, well, not before I make new ones, but definitely not eat the new ones before I have those. Those need to be used up first. Things change very quickly for me, um, depending on our schedules and things. But I do have other meals that we made this month. Why don't we take a look and see what we had for dinner? So I have some country style ribs I need to cook up tonight for dinner. We're gonna do this in the slow cooker today and I am going to prepare a rub that we're gonna put on them. We are going to use smoked paprika, granulated onion, garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. Now the salt and pepper, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna put in, that's gonna be by eye, but everything else I'm just gonna start with um, a few teaspoons of each to make the rub, and then we'll go from there. This is delicious. And then grab any barbecue sauce that you like, your favorite. I'm using this hickory flavored barbecue sauce from um, G Hughes, it's sugar free. So I'm gonna get this mix going and then blend it all together and then we'll start rubbing the ribs. Now if I have to make more, I'll make more. We love country style ribs and in the slow cooker, but once I started using them with a the rub, it was a whole game changer with the barbecue sauce, so good. All right, so we're gonna do layers in the slow cooker. So we're gonna put one layer down, put some barbecue sauce, another layer down, barbecue sauce, okay? But first we're gonna get this rub on these and I'm not gonna be shy about it once I start rubbing in. Make your house smell so good. I'm not gonna drench them in the barbecue sauce, but we're definitely gonna save some of it for after. Okay, I'm just gonna put a lid on it, cook it on low for like seven or eight hours. I'm just gonna let it go all day, and then we're gonna have yummy country style ribs. Don't forget to plug in your slow cooker. I've done that a few times. Ooh. All right. Low and slow and that's going to be delicious. Oh my gosh, you guys. I got ahead of um, myself. 
oh, with gosh. this <laughs> meal. This is what happens. I told you, like I let it get ahead of it and I always forget to show you the end result. So here are the ribs. They are just falling apart. <laughs> They're so good. I have some coleslaw with them. We love coleslaw. This is actually store bought. I didn't um, make my own tonight because Shaylee and I had a great time at the library that I decided I'm not gonna have time to make coleslaw. <laughs> So we have the ribs, coleslaw, we have corn on the cob. We have a big, big bowl of watermelon and the ribs were delicious and that was tonight's dinner. Okay, I'm starting on tomorrow night's dinner which is Cafe Rio sweet pulled pork, one of our favorite, favorite meals. So we're gonna start with the pork and what we're gonna do is marinate it overnight. So I'm putting this in the fridge in the morning and then I'll be tossing and turning the bag all day. So in the morning we'll get this in the slow cooker. You could use any pork, pork roast. So I'm not sure how many pounds this is. It's two to three pounds. You could use Coke or Dr. Pepper. I think the original vi video, which I'll link down below, uses Coke. But the flavor of the pork is better with the Dr. Pepper. Do I still think Dr. Pepper is evil? Yeah, I do. I think it tastes like cough medicine. But in this recipe, it's amazing. Whenever I make this recipe, I just buy one 20 fluid ounce bottle. And this lasts me through the process of making this. So I'm gonna need three-fourths cup of the Dr. Pepper or the Coke, whatever you prefer. Okay, I gotta get that in there. I usually do the brown sugar first. I'm going backwards. Okay, then you're going to need a fourth cup of brown sugar. Did you know that if you keep a piece of bread in your brown sugar, that it'll keep it nice and soft this brown sugar went hard on me, and I put the bread in, and boom, I have soft, soft brown sugar. All right, let me get that in there. I'm just gonna mix this all up, let it marinate throughout the day. I'll go toss the bag. And then we'll put this in the slow cooker in the morning without this liquid. We'll toss this liquid and we'll put fresh Dr. Pepper and seasonings in the slow cooker. This is phase one and it is so, so good. Into the refrigerator it goes all day and overnight. See you in the morning. All right, good morning. Let's get our pork roast into the slow cooker. Now we're gonna discard the bag with all that liquid in it. We're not gonna use it. And we're gonna take that Dr. Pepper, that same one. I have to hide mine in the refrigerator so no one drinks it. And we're gonna add a cup of that in. And a fourth cup of water. We're gonna probably need about a half a teaspoon of granulated onion. I just sprinkle it. And then garlic powder. and chili powder. We could cook this on high for three to four hours or low for six until it shreds easily. All right, here we go. The roast has been cooking for four hours. Could be longer, I lost track of time. So. I cooked mine on high. Usually I cut this in half before I put it in the slow cooker. So this might need longer in the slow cooker to shred. Yeah, just a little longer. I'm gonna put this back in. Some spots are ready, some are not. So I'm gonna put this in for just a little longer and then I'll shred it. All right, they are done and I'm gonna just start shredding them. We're gonna dump what's in here and start out fresh. This is what we're looking for. We want it to easily shred and fall apart. Oh, so good. All right, I'm gonna shred this up and then we'll move on to the next step. I have the pork back into the slow cooker. We need to make the mixture that's going in here. So you're gonna need a can of red enchilada sauce 
and a four ounce can of diced chili. Not even gonna drain it. We're just gonna put that in there. Some more of that chili powder, like a teaspoon. I'm just gonna guess, and I'm gonna put that in there. And you'll need your last cup of your Coke or Dr. Pepper. And then three fourths cup brown sugar. That a good mix, so that way the brown sugar dissolves. And then we're gonna pour this all over our pork. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, we're gonna pour this over. And this is gonna cook for another two hours. And it's gonna be so good. Yum. And while this is doing its thing, in a little bit I'm gonna make, um, I have a packet of Mexican style rice. Get the lettuce ready. It's gonna be so good. All right, I'm gonna put the cover on and this is gonna cook for two hours. All right, we are gonna make the sauce for this. <laughs> and I'm going back to the video to see how I made it. I, you'd think I would have the sauce by heart, but I don't. You're gonna need mayo, okay. The recipe on the dedicated video says to use buttermilk. Guys, it'll make it really runny. I don't do that anymore, so I use mayo. Uh, a packet of ranch buttermilk dressing mix. I think you put some lime in there. <laughs> a jalapeno, tomatillos, and cilantro. So, but a full tutorial video, I have the link down below for you with making the salad. So I think some of the kids are gonna have a salad and some are gonna have it in a burrito with the rice that I made. I'll share that with you in a minute. So, okay, I'm gonna just start making this. This is so good. And then I use this dressing on everything after this point, every day. Like, I'll be putting it on everything, dipping my veggies in it, it's so good. Oh, and I'll put it on tacos when we have tacos, yum. I'll leave some of the seeds in, but the majority of them out. Oh, and garlic. Add garlic in there too. The recipe does call for water, about one third cup. I'm probably not, I'm probably gonna do like half of that because I really go off the consistency. Cilantro in here, I love cilantro, you guys. Oh my gosh, love it. So don't go shy, put a lot in there. About a half a cup of packed cilantro leaves, basically. Okay, that is in there. Oh, look at that. It is so good. So you put down your flour tortilla and then I'm going to add um, my rice down. And I know I'm using a spatula instead of a spoon. <laughs> I am getting hangry, you guys. I reached that point. So you could put down some rice, put as much as you want. And then I put down the pinto beans. All right, and here's my pork. All right, here is the salad. I am so hungry, you guys. Shaylee wanted it in a burrito. Burrito! So, so I have sour cream on here, up top. You could put pico, guacamole, all of that. I'm keeping it simple, but again, the full video, seeing it in its full glory, is down below. I can't wait to dig in. I am so hungry. All right, I was out and about running errands today, and I went to Sam's Club, so I thought for dinner tonight, instead of rushing home and making something, and throwing it in the oven. I knew I was gonna be home close to dinner. So when I was in Sam's Club, I stopped and I grabbed their stuffed peppers. I have never had them before, so I'm really excited to try it. And their mac and cheese, and I have stuff to make a salad. Um, I have asparagus, I have broccoli, so there's plenty of greens to be had. So I'm gonna cover both these up. This is supposed to be at 400, this is at 375. Um, I'm gonna do both at 400 and just put them in the oven. I have foil over them. They're kind of tented up and they're gonna cook in the oven for 30 minutes. 
Well, so far the stuffed pepper is amazing and the macaroni and cheese is awesome. So definitely two things that I will continue to get at Sam's Club. The whole point of menu planning is to have down on paper an idea, a plan, right? What can you go to to make for dinner? Do you menu plan for the week, bi-weekly, or for the month? I would love to know. So I am loving this system. This is working for me. This is in the She's in Her Apron Planner. Um, let me know how it's going for you. I know a lot of you got this planner. How is it working for you? The same concept is coming up in the 2022 planners, which will be announced in just like a few weeks. We are um, finalizing the planner. It's so exciting. I just looked over all the holiday pages for you guys. So exciting. I'll bring you in on a video um, the next video what I'm going to be planning for October um, but I'm loving this system this is really working for me in my brain I could see what we're using and not using I would love to know what do you have on the menu for October are you going into more slow cooker meals are you preparing more fallish soups do you have more casseroles in October do you have more hearty things in October what do you usually gravitate to um, or, or are you a creature of habit? Do you guys have the same things? I would love to know. I would love to get some some more dinner ideas. I, I just love seeing what you all eat. It's so great. And you guys make me hungry every time you put down in the comments what you have in your favorite meals. Yum. So please share. I would love to know. Get going on your planning for October. I would love to see what you do. All right, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you soon. Bye.